checking the sets out here. Looks like we got one to threes. Really looks pretty calm out there. Sun is just starting to rise. Looks beautiful. Nice pink horizon line. The flies or the mosquitoes, I don't know which, are terrible. They're eating me alive, to say the least. Um, looks like it's going to be a pretty nice day. We do have some rain clouds hanging out. It's starting to drizzle a little bit, but we brought the canopy, so we'll be able to put our gear under there and uh, stay as dry as possible. Let's Anyhow, get it done. I'm about to get wet in the ocean either way. So aye, 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 aye. The next time you guys see me, I'll be yakking some baits out. I descended into a beautiful sunrise. You. What's the real for me? Right on. Yo, we run them down, bruh. Go ahead and drop that front bait. Drop it, drop it. These bait bags moving out here, something's working on. Bunker little tiny, tiny glass minnows or something. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah,
that Joe's line was slacked up and um, sometimes what that can mean is that a shark picked up the bait and moved it closer to shore um, or that there's actually a shark on it running it in towards shore. Or so, that it got cut off. Or that, yeah, it got cut off in some, you know, way. So what Joe is doing right now is catching up with his bait, feeling the weight, but he's not yanking it in because if there's nothing on there, there's no need to pull the bait in. And if something did pick it up, it's probably still hanging in the general vicinity of that bait. So you don't want to pull it in too close because you want them to eat your bait. Always leave it for about 10 minutes. So Joe didn't really feel anything since he's caught up with it. Um, is it slowly coming in or is it holding? No, I'm going to let it sit for a minute. So if you do catch up with your weight and you feel your weight and then all of a sudden you feel, you know, you don't feel your weight anymore and it's coming in, um, I would just go ahead and bring your rod in because it's I'll most likely a shark. I was telling Joe earlier when I was out in the kayak, there's a bunch of bait balls out there. They're pretty close to shore. There's some further off. I mean, they're really moving out there. I saw some like bunker jumping out of the water and then some really small fish. Um, so I think Joe's going to throw his gotcha plug around. All the while we're going to be keeping an eye on that rod that just slacked up to make sure that there's nothing on there. We may even just bring it in just to be safe. takes your bait let it run with it for a little bit it might just pick it up That's take a, a bite bait. chomp it and put it down it's a huge tuna head so let it run for a second just to make sure <laughs> that she or he is really looking for breakfast this morning come on just had a good run on this rod Let's see what we're with what's going on here pop it up to max drag Man, still haven't got tight on it yet. You're gonna run it all the way in for me, huh? All right, I feel it now. There it is, I'm about to crack him. I'm about to crack him. Ah! Do it again. Hey! Hey! All right, let's do this. Hey Jason, remember you were asking me about laying the line? Just watch my thumb, man. It's like second nature, dude. You barely even tell you're doing it. Oh, it feels like a good one, dude. Man. All right, guys. I think I'm doubled up. Joe's hooked up. I just had a nice little run on mine. Can't really put too much attention to it right now because we've got to focus on his. It's getting in real close. There's some kind of weird debris floating out there. There's a missing person in the ocean, so we hope it's not them. Dude. All right, guys, on the board, big female. Sorry, I'm out of breath, man. That was a lot of work. 
That Ooh. was a tough girl. The bait, the bait was like not even 20 minutes. Had a run. We just heard Ellie's run. So let's get over here. Dude, there's something floating in the ocean getting close to us, bro. You got mono yet? Absolutely not. Got a ways to go? Gotta keep that hook tight or else it'll fall out. That's what mine did, it ran it in until it got about 150 yards out where the troughs are and then it started getting pissed, dude. Yeah, which is what's currently occurring. Watch out, you got it? You get out of there. All right guys, that was dope. Back to back sharks. I just hooked up on a like eight foot male sand tiger. Quick tag, quick release. It was a little sketchy because these sharks are super aggro, dude. They're like trying to bite us, uh, which they don't, they tend to be more relaxed, but not today, man. No, they're flaky out there today, man. Yeah. <laughs> Um, Both of them were like actively trying to bite us, which I, and I don't blame them. Out of the water lately, yeah. it's pretty awesome, man. Sky in on it, bro. Yeah. We got two more bait. Probably about to run two more Probably out. Probably about man. to run them out, especially because I want to check out that floating thing in the ocean. It's now made its way directly in front of us. It's some kind of flotation device. So I'm gonna check it out. Right on. See what it is, and hopefully see some more hookups. Running them back out. Got some storms are in the area. Almost there. Far drop. Five hundred yards. All right, Ellie, give that front one a kiss and drop her in the ocean. All right, guys, both baits are set. Now it's a waiting game. So I've already caught two this morning and just caught two more baits out. I feel like there's already something messing with mine, so only a matter of time now, I hope. We definitely have some weather clouds moving in, uh, but we're not scared and we're just hoping it's going to keep people off the beach. Uh, there's a wind picking up. It's not like a super cold breeze, but it's a little bit chilly. Um, so, And you'll see uh, me changing like 10 outfits every single time because 
I get soaking wet and then you just want warm clothes and then you get soaking wet and those clothes are wet, blah, blah, blah. So if you see me wearing like 15 different outfits, it's all going to be one day's video here, guys. Dude, these baits are not lasting long at all out there today. Another 10 minutes, 15 minutes, Ellie just had a run. What do you think, Al? I think it's on there, but uh, I'm trying to be sure. Is it running it in? It's on there. Yeah, I'm getting some head shakes right now. All right. What another one, dude? What time is it? It's not even 8 a.m. yet. It's, all, it's like almost 9, not, not even. and I saw it bending over a little bit and I said to Joe something like yeah well hold on I gotta go take care of the shark real quick and he was like what and then five seconds later the drag started screaming dude you got a really small hook on here so I gotta baby it just a little bit I hope it's hooked good it's almost in mono got the tagger ready Hopefully it's a good one. He's almost dead. I'm gonna get up here and land this fish. Raddest chick I know right there, boy. You! Just got done bringing mine in. Joe's just had a little run, man. Nice run. Every time we're late with the camera, with them runs, bro. Yo, straight dream team, yo. No, we double down and we're about to quadruple, man. All right, I just hooked up on another nice sand tiger, approximately seven foot female. She had a bunch of copepods. She had some markings on her to identify her clearly. Um, hopefully I'll catch her again in the future when she's like nine to 11 feet. Dude, Joe's just in a mood today. got off guys they'll be running it straight in there's a big predominant bar as usual and uh compromising it got off here. dude check these gloves out yeah. Just 
took off. You could just see his dorsal fin breaking through all those breakers. He was like, bye. I mean, it counts as a catch of his leader. All right, guys, if you may have seen that was a little three foot sandbar shark. It got off in the surf. It happened, but no worries. I just ran back to the cooler and I got some fresh bait. We're now switching up from tuna to golden tilefish. And we already know they're highly productive, so stay tuned. Let's see what we can pull out of here. All right, guys, here we go again. Big drop number three. This morning was mental, bro. Psycho sesh, shark after shark after shark. The bite stopped. We got giant storm cells moving through. Take a look at us. Good thing we got this canopy top sided. Should we call it or what? <laughs> 